good afternoon nana here we have completed the back to back buy and then back to back transfer now we are going to have a look at a back to back make now uh, so we will begin the session now <clears throat> We open it up now. So, if you go to the Fusion Order Management documentation, that we have one document on Fusion Manufacturing Setups. So, let me open it up now. And on the Fusion Order Management documentation, we have one Fusion Manufacturing Setup. So we have this now, <clears throat> how to set up the manufacturer. So before we go into it, we will have a look at what exactly is manufacturing, discrete manufacturing. Let us say we have been given a job of manufacturing a drum. <clears throat> so 50 numbers of drum you have to manufacture from sheet metal. So the first activity is what you do, you're going to cut the sheet metal. The sheet metal cutting will take place now. So here, <clears throat> We are going to uh, operation number 10 will be cutting the sheet metal. You need sheet metal as a raw material and then uh, you need uh, the cutter as a resource. Mm -hmm. the operation 10 will perform. Then afterwards, you need a bender. So the bender will be basically <coughs> uh, using the cut sheets as the input. And then afterwards, uh, what happens? You know, do the uh, sheet metal <coughs> operational sheet metal bending. This is the operation sheet metal cutting. So you'll be using the cut sheets and then you'll move the bending. And finally, for the, first, the bender, the, the resource which will be doing it. So the 30th operation is bending. And then bending rods are required for it. And then the bending machine will be used. <coughs> and then uh, your precision welder will be required for doing the welding. So this is the equipment requirement actually. And then this is the resource requirement. And you can see body is adjusting with the water. You want to test whether there is any leak or not. So afterwards, <coughs> you will now go ahead. And then in the 50th operation, you will now go on and do the grinding and finishing. Uh, and then a handle the grinding machine will be used, and then finally, what happens? A grinder will be used on this. Hmm. So, the 50th operation is grinding and finishing, and then a, a handheld grinder is used, and then the grinder is used. 60th is painting and finishing. So, let us say uh, that we are going to incur uh, 100 or 1000 rupees in every operation. So, after completion of all the six operations, the job will be earning 6000 rupees. And once when you inventorize the product, the, the whip cost will be relieved and then the inventory will be getting charged. And let us say during the testing process, you are finding some leak, then what happens, you will now revisit again the 30th, the third step, and that is to, and then again to the building, and then again to the test. So in this case, what happens, if there is no additional money is involved for the, for, uh, for the manufacturing of the drum actually. So 30th and product. Any time, any number of times you repeat, because it is because of your mistake, you are repeating it actually. So when you go, even go back and forth on the on the sequence, <coughs> what happens is the total cost in is only 6,000. So the purpose of manufacturing is what mainly as far as the discrete manufacturing is concerned. First of all, it will not tell you the product cost, how much of money is he incurred. So you will now identify the product cost and then afterwards you will now decide the selling price based upon the product cost. You will now add a margin and then you will now decide it. So there is one is a product cost. The next one is job costing. So product cost is a, is one of the fun, one of the advantages of discrete manufacturing. In the job, let us say uh, you want to do it fast. No, what happens? Let us say this is now everything is now taking one one day each. So you want to do the welding fast. So you are now going to pump in some extra welder water. So that what happens? You are now reducing the time. So the extra amount of money which is being spent will now go as a variance because it has to only incur only six thousand. So additional resources or additional materials for the pumpkin will be going as a variance. And then <clears throat> once when you relieve the job, once when you inventorize the product, what happens? Only 6,000 will be relieved from inventory. And then uh, uh, rather, uh, rather whip, and then it will go to inventory. The extra, <clears throat> what happens, uh, the precision welder or some other bending machine or something like that, you are adding it to what happens, uh, improvise the process will be, doing, will be going and then hitting the variance account. So the cost managers will be basically analyzing the variance and then later on what happens is they will now say it is no more 6,000 and then it will be what happens is 6,500. Likewise what happens they will now adjust the standard product so that the variance, their ultimate aim is to what bring the variance to zero. <clears throat> so if it is a regular phenomenon then what happens is they will be adding it to the product cost itself so the variance doesn't matter. 
So variance analysis itself is a very big task by the cost managers. So this is a job cost. So the job cost will be analyzed and then the product cost will be adjusted accordingly so that the variance do not hit at all. <clears throat> so job cost and then product cost. The next thing, advantage is what? The lead time. How much of time it is going to take? So every, every time it will not take some around, say half a day or one day. So they will now analyze and then based upon which the planning central will be basically promising the customers that whenever an order is placed, so you're going to say this much of a time it is going to take them for the manufacturing and then accordingly so <coughs> the manufacturing assurances uh, rather the uh, scheduled ship date will be automatically adjusted by the planning center actually. So that is the third advantage of what happens in lead time management. Lead time management basically. <coughs> Likewise what happens there are so many small small advantages of uh, manufacturing. Only. So this we are going to see about how to do the manufacturing. <coughs> so for this example what I am going to do is I will now have three operations, bending and cutting, the welding, and then the painting and finishing as three operations. And then this is the resources which are required for this. And then the material, sheet metal, and then welding rods, paint. And then the equipment I'm not going to consider in this training. So there is a lab access. You can think of uh, considering the equipment also. So only with this, what happens, I'm going to make it. <coughs> so let us now go there and then we'll now start to what happens, we'll configure the thing. <coughs> So the first activity is this is what the organization must be a manufacturing organization. So I'm now going to work on the existing ORC 002 now. So Atlanta, and then uh, you people try to create your own ORC and then uh, try to complete each and everything. And then if you're able to do it, that will be excellent actually. Right? Because of what happens, the laziness and then do it fast. What happens, I'm now working on the existing ORC, but always try to work on your own ORC. And that will give you a good, <coughs> what happens, uh, look and feel or grip on the subject basically. Right? I'm working on 002 Atlanta. First of all, the organization has to be a manufacturing organization. So, I will now go to the task. I will now go to the task. So, I will now go there. So, click on search. Manage inventory card. So, go to the manage inventory card. Let me go in the 002 now, which is Atlanta. So 002 is Atlanta. So select and then click on edit now. How will it be? So all the parameters are the same. Fine. The next level. So we have to make it as a manufacturing plant. Organization is a manufacturing plant, and the organization is a what happens that performs the maintenance activities also and these to tick marks must be enabled for performing manufacturing operations. So once the these two tick marks are enabled, what happens so this organization will become a manufacturing plant in the main general region. <coughs> the, cancer. the next activity is what manage plant parameters. Go there. Manage percentage. Plant percentage parameters. So for the ARC 002, you have to change the ARC to 002 and then see that what happens, your manufacturing calendar must be operations. Whatever it is. So this calendar here, there is one small thing is there. If your work shift is going to be flexible, then you cannot populate your calendar over here at all. The calendar cannot be populated. So it should not be flexible and then it should be either none or one more thing. I'll just show you. So default supply sub inventory is what stores, and then uh, once when it is completed, it will now go on and hit the completed sub inventory. Okay. So uh, again, the print pick slips all these things are there. And, uh, to be exact, uh, expand the work definition, what I'm going to show you, the operation sequence is now going to be done, and then it will be incrementing in 10 data. Okay. So phantom operations, again, we are not uh, going to touch this part in this training actually, but we will be taught in the manufacturing plan. So if you go to the work execution, if you click on the work execution, what happens, so you can say work order is what? So let me make a change now. I will now say it's a Tata underscore. And then I will now say the starting number is only 2000. <coughs> so let me change it to 2000. Oh, it's not allowed. So here, what happens, the thing cannot be edited because once when you save it, what happens, it's not possible to edit, fine. So at least the prefix is not going to change now. So the default over, over tolerance percentage fine, is okay. You can even uh, complete it extra, extra. You can also manufacture default uh, transaction mode is all, and it's entered or all. And 
default transaction quantity is both, and then I mean, material source, everything can be uh, basically transacted actually. And then capture level for serial list operations, item serial, non time operation serial. So, item serial is a serial number operation one. And middle reporting level for the serial operation is operation and not item serial. And then allow quantity changes during back flush. And all these things we will be learning it in the uh, manufacturer. But since I have not gone through the manufacturing, I am able to explain fully. But what happens, I know about it in the EBS basically. But uh, it will be almost similar as such. <clears throat> Lot selection during uh, backflash. Well, no, uh, the backflash of, uh, concept also will be learning in manufacturing. So either a lot, first in, first out, or first in, first in, first out. So a lot can be done with. And there are other parameters. Outside closing has come in now, and then you will be uh, doing it now. So uh, this is also almost, uh, you see my outside closing in my EBIS uh, manufacturing uh, training. Right? I would have to show, show me that. And the maintenance is also coming up and working on it. So the maintenance will go down. And then we have forecast 41 days. And then how you're going to do the planned maintenance actually. <clears throat> and that's it. What happened? I'll give a say. I, I only made one change on this map and the others. So the planned parameter is the first activity change. So Tata and Rasko 1000 is the number one. Then afterwards, now when we go there, we click on the home icon. <clears throat> And then here, if you go to the supply chain execution, what happens? You'll be having work definition and then work execution. You click on the work definition. So click on the work definition, and then you drop it down, <coughs> and then you can see manage work area. The work area is not available in the plant setups. So will be sending on the work area is an addition when compared to EBS. Click on work area, and you can see that there are so many work areas there. So let us now create our work area. I am going to get plus one. Uh, I will not say E01 underscore work area. And go to the work area. Description and then click on save and close. So, work area is an addition when compared to the right one. Then, afterwards, you go there, you will now go there and then create work centers. Fine. There will be multiple work centers which will be in work area. Fine. So, here, what happens, I will be doing uh, drum manufacturing. In other places, what happens, you'll be doing a lifting operations uh, and then some other manufacturing time. Okay, everything will be a work center. So each and work center, all the centers will be residing in the work area. Right? Click on the manual work centers. And then let us not create a work center. Click on plus one. <coughs> so I'm going to say E01 underscore drum manufacturing. Manufacturing, I'm going to say center. So drum manufacturing center is the one and the take away to implement the code now. For the description. The work area I'm going to drop it down and then choose my work area. So it, it is not under this work area. So this is almost equivalent to a department of EBS. So if you can specify a supply supplementary, otherwise what happens the picking code will automatically pick up from there. It has to come up. The moment request will be coming into itself. You click on plus no fine. Now the resources are not yet created. So save and close and then I will not create the resources and then assign it to the drum manufacturing. Save and close. So the department is now created. Thank you, Ramana. And then of course, we have to go there. We will now create the resources. Go to the manage resources. And then here, we are going to create the resources. <coughs> Click on plus one. We have not created the resource. So in our case, what happens? We are going to have what? Uh, we are going to have, you know, first of all, uh, we will be having resources what? Uh, resources required as a bender cutter as a resource. So go there. So the easy one underscore bender. So let us now take it up to the input of the description. So the title is what? An equipment, I'm not doing it. Equipment of the lab exists for you. You can even create a resource like equipment and then do it. The label. <coughs> class, into the, the class is not coming. Maybe uh, some of the setups are quite well known. So here, what happens? You give hover, no? hover as a time unit, some of us, and you see what is there and what is there. Drop it down. And choose it now. Anything which is a time based unit submitters will be in a, I'll not put a day in any case because we are not going to calculate the lead time as such. No? So, if anything is a time based unit submitters, then scheduling is possible. If it is a non time based unit submitters, scheduling is not possible. So, go there, drop it down, and then save and create another one. <coughs> Either one vendor cutter is now created. You can create a builder. There is any department, resources are common. <coughs> the next is what? Go there. Uh, next is builder. <coughs> so, E01 must be a builder. 
So let's take a copy of it. And I'm going to go and go to this question. Type is a day one. And give it some other day. <clears throat> and then save and close. No, I'm going to create another one. The next one is what paint and it's a easy one. Underscore painter. Take out it. I'm going to go to my description. Type is a day one. So give me some other day. <laughs> and that's it. Save and close. So we are to complete it three months. In. Then how's these resources in the department? So get and close them. Then again go to work centers. Three or work center. <clears throat> So we'll not edit them. Filter, A01, select it, then underline, keep hit the hyperlink on the map, the work center. So click on plus and then I will not add a resource. So I'm going to say A01 in your time. So first one is going to add it. How many? This is for the capacity planning. So I'm not saying 10, 10 cents will be available. It will be available for 24 hours and then it is again capable to promise this from a planning center lecture. I don't know how much of utilization we're going to do. Okay. My first filter is now. So click on plus one. I'm going to add the next one. A01. Builder is added. Now, builder cutter, I'm adding it to the department. The 10 units are available here. <coughs> so click on add another. Go to A01. New time. So the third one is painter, I'm adding it to. All the resources, I'm not going to keep it in the same department. So capacity planning only will be sensing this. Number of pieces available. So click on OK. Now we have three things in this drum manufacturing center. And we use this. Click on seven close now by which it's completed. So we have completed this one. Yes. Now go there, click on it. Then what happens? The next is what we are going to get in the standard operations. The work area is completed, center is completed, resource is completed. This is for uh, what happens, uh, putting it from a book, uh, what's called uh, this thing now, uh, from work worksheet. From a, what's called, uh, from a spreadsheet, you can do it now. So, uh, uh, manage standard operations in spreadsheet actually. So, I'm not using it now. So, I will now go to what next one, next level. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to go to the standard operations. So, I manage standard operations directly. <clears throat> so, click on plus. I'm not going to create three standard operations. Now, find what is what bending and cutting operation. So, I'm going to say name is what A01 underscore bending. Operation. <clears throat> take a copy of it and then put a code now in the description. So, work center is A01 in your time now. <clears throat> no so, this comp point and automatically transact, I will now show you in uh, Fusion in EBIS. Not a little bit. If you go on and have a little bit, in EBIS, I will not uh, I am not uh, sure about uh, what exactly how it is configured here now. Uh, and then here, you go there. I mean, I'm going to go to the CM and then go to the e business documentation go to the manufacturing one. So you have on one point auto charge with that question. So in e business documentation manufacturing, we have a one point auto charge back pressure there. Double click on it and open it up now. So we'll now see the example of this. So I have got five operations, and then every operation needs resource on and metal one, like that. We are having that resource and metal requirement as well. And then afterwards, the supply type is operation pool. Operation pool means what? Upon completion of this operation, the the what happens? The, this uh, metal the resources will be charged. The resources get charged upon completion of the operation. EAP means what? If it is the EAP assembly pool, then only at the end of the assembly, once when the assembly is inventorized, the resource gets charged. So resource also has got four types of move, whip move, and then a, you have a manual move, and then a, something else is there. Fine. So there are, I think, four types are there. Of the charge type materials. Material. Material, if backlash is on, then what happens? It will be eligible for uh, what happens? Uh, uh, what happens? Uh, being uh, uh, supplied, actually. Materials are supplied, and then uh, what happens? Your resources are charged. So there is a comp point and auto charge operation there. In the first one, what happens? M1 will not be supplied upon completion of operation 10 actually. Because what happens? M1 is the one which is not getting supplied at all. M1 will not be supplied because backlash is off. But resource gets charged. Fine. But R1 is charged. Resources are charged, then the materials are supplied. Fine. So the job, it gets charged. In the 20th operation, what happens when moving assemblies from 10 to 30? 
from 10Q to 30Q, I'm going to move it now. So the moving from 10Q to okay. What happens is 30 and 20 is uh, uh, sequence 20. 20 is not a mandatory step because what happens, you cannot see the point point is off. That means what? This is not a mandatory operation. So it is a very trivial operation. And so what happens is they, it will not even suggest you to move to 20 at all. Fine. It's a small operation. And so it will not, in the system itself, in the move transaction 10, it will not automatically prompt you 30 actually. So 20 is not a mandatory operation. 20 is a trivial job. And then uh, what happens? It will be uh, uh, time less than simple process. And so what happens? Is, it is assumed that what happens is completed. So here, since BF is on in both the places, so when you complete, when you go to the 30th, then what happens? Uh, uh, since uh, BF is on, both M1 and M2 are supplied. Actually. M1 and M2 are getting supplied. M3 will be supplied only upon 30th completion. So when you move from 10 to 10Q to 32, what happens? Here, in the M2 we have on, and then what happens? The previous material will also be supplied. On. So M1 and M2 get supplied upon this. So in the 30th operation, even though BF is on, the material will not be supplied as the supply type is AP actually. Here it is on. So that means what? Material supply becomes eligible, but since the operation supply type is AP, the material will not be supplied only when the uh, goods are completed with the inventory. Once when you're inventorizing it at the time, what happens? M3 will be supplied. <clears throat> so now it's not, even though it's eligible for supply, but it, since it's not a OP, it's AP, it will not be supplied. In the 40th operation, what happens? This is both are off now. CP and AC are off now. Right? When moves from 30 to 50, when you're moving it from 30 to 50, 40 will not be performed at all. So it is basically a sort of a what rework or a repair or something like that. Fine, it is not normally performed. So it's not all known. Otherwise, you exclusively ex exclusively visit this 40th, then what happens? Is then thing will be charged. So it will not be performed as AZ is off actually. AZ is off. Auto charge is off, and then what happens? Second point is also off. This is a repair, repair or a rework operation. When the assembly is expected to uh, exclusively move to 40, then only what happens? R4 will be charged. As well as what happens, the M4 will not be charged because what happens, the backflash is off. In the 50th operation, the final operation, all the three must be on. Right? We cannot have any other room. Right? The last operation is mandatory operation. We have all the things. And then once when the item gets inventorized, what happens, all other material, if the, everything is XXX, and then finally is only on, what happens, the, drain, the material will be, what happens, will be supplied to the uh, whip. And then uh, what happens, uh, the, the resources based upon OP and AP, it will be automatically charged. So this functionality uh, may be same only for CTAC, BF, and then what happens, uh, backflash. I'm not sure about how it's being done now. Uh, when I learn manufacturing, I will let you know. <laughs> so you go to the place, and then here, what happens, I will not say. But if you don't make count point on, what happens, I'm unable to make it as automatic, so I'm not making count point on. I click on plus number. For this one, <coughs> that was, I'm now making the first operation of binding and cutting. And so what happens, I will not go there, put the resources of binder. Bender is a resource, no? my better and cutter is a resource, and go there. So it is automatic, and go there. Same close by which what happened, the first uh, standard operation is not complete. Same close, we are not completing the first standard operation. <coughs> we go there, next, next operation, fine, we click on plus number, we are the next operation. <coughs> so, next standard operation is what? We go there. <coughs> go to this place. Go there. Next is what? The standard operation is building. So, I will not say. E01 underscore building. Building is an operation. Take off of it and then put on the code now. Put in the description. <coughs> Work center is E01. And then here, count point is on now. And then put a plus now. In fact, what happens? One operation may even have multiple lines actually. For this example, you are only considering only one line. Is the builder. <coughs> building builder is now. So you drop down and then save and create another one. Save and create another. Go there. So resource, resource is not the builder. So you are asked, and then drop it down and then choose save and create another one. The third final operation I'm going to make it is called painting and finishing. A01 underscore painting underscore finishing. So take over it and then put on the code now. Put on the description. <clears throat> so work center is A01 in your app now. And then put on plus now. And then I will now say A01 and then painting and finishing the resource. Right? The painter is a resource now. <clears throat> uh, uh, is it okay? Fine. I will now make this is on, then only what happens it will be possible for it to make it as automatic. That's it. Save and close by which we have now completed all the three operations. Standard operations are complete. Now, 
for example, let us now create the material requirement. Right? Sheet metal and then melting rod and paints are required. Right? These are the materials which are required now for this one. <coughs> Now let us go and then uh, create the materials. So we are now creating the resources as well as standard operations. Now let us now create the materials for this. Click on them. Uh, go there. Click on the icon and then you go to the <coughs> product management. And then I go to the product information management. Click on it and then go create it. So I'm going to get the item. <clears throat> so I'm now using the 000 operations rubric and class. Let me run one time. So first of all, we'll look at the drum. I'm now going to get the drum. So it's <coughs> e one underscore drum. So take a copy of it and into our description. And then we go to the specifications. So in the manufacturing area, nothing to do. And then uh, since we are now going to do a back-to-back -back operation, always have the building the process. And for all the three back-to-back -back operations, so buy, make, and transfer, always make the build in the process. Now we go to the sales and order management, and then in this place, we'll now make the back-to-back -back assets. Back-to-back -back assets. So this is a back-to-back -back operation, so back-to-back -back assets. And then you go to the planning now. <coughs> go to the planning. And then you, this is all okay. Yeah. But you see that it is MRP plan. And then go down and then make this is mainly for planning central actually cal calculate ADP and then the processing lead time. <coughs> I'm gonna make it as one. <coughs> this will be calculated with the lead time management actually. So just make it as one, that's okay. And then afterwards you go to the purchasing and then we have the habit of giving a list price. You know, so that, uh, when the interface to purchasing is okay, but I'm not doing anything on the purchasing. Now go to the association and let me associate to the child or not. Select NAT and let me associate to the child or Zero zero two. I'm going to work upon Atlanta is a manufacturing. Click on apply and then click on done. So the first parent is now made. Go down and save and close. There's got three components: sheet metal, bedding rods, and paint. Now, now create the raw raw materials which is required for that <coughs> manufacturing work. I'm clicking on create now. So it's a zero 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 R root item class. Okay. <clears throat> so it's a easy one. And let's go sheet metal. So sheet metal again and we we'll take it in the description. So go to the specifications <coughs> and then we go to the sales and auto management and make the back to back CSC. Back to back CSC. And then go to the planning. And then see me that is a market land and then enabling the ATP and then the browsing data is going to go to purchasing. <coughs> Purchase price is one more. Then we click on associations and then get the results. the actions and then go to select an admin. Because it will be entering. So then we click on apply and then click on done. So the first raw material is only. Save and close. Click on it and click on create an item. Go to the The root item class. Click on OK. So it's a P01 underscore. Next is what? Building rods. Second raw material is now getting made. <coughs> so, go to the specifications right here. Go there. And then we go to the sales and order management. And then make it as yes. <coughs> okay, and go to the planning. And then here, make it as yes. And then, yeah, have a habit of going there. Purchase process, even though it's not required for this exercise. So. And then you are as an saving person. <coughs> and the final raw metal is going to be getting created on it. Click on create up. <coughs> Operations. 
Look at them class. Okay. Okay. So paint it. Paint it. So easy to run. Just go paint. Take comment on the entire description. What are the specifications? <clears throat> so put the sales in order and make it a VSM. Then uh, we go to the planning. Go down. <clears throat> You know, the planning is there. It's okay. And you know, then this is the rest of the And then the And then the purchase. Make the purchase price is one month. Okay, right, yeah. <clears throat> so now we go there. <clears throat> Sorry, I got this one. Yeah. And then uh, now uh, we are going to what happens? Uh, build the bill now. Fine, bill we are going to make it. Now, right? We are going to make it the bill now. We don't like so let us now make a bill. So the drum will be needing these three components. We will now make the bill. <clears throat> okay. Now go there. <clears throat> and then we will now go to the browse items and then query the bill. Query the parent item. So it's an easy to run drum. And then I click on search. So the drum is now assigned to both the arcs. So we'll now on the master arc we'll now create the bill. So keep my customer the master arc. <clears throat> so now we go to the structures now. If I click on the structures now. Master arc structures now. And then go to the actions and then go to what happens when you create it. So we are going to create the bill in the master. So drop it down and then make it as a primary now. You know, say it's a primary. And then I click on apply and add details. We are going to apply and add details. Apply and add details. We are not going to make a bill for this. The structure. structure is nothing but bomb. We are going to add it. So go there and then go to the actions and then go to select and add. So let us now select all the components. Starting on A01. <clears throat> click on search now. So we got three components now. Fine. Select it at the control. With the control select it. Select it and then select it. Uh, click on apply and then click on OK now. So all the components are selected, <coughs> and then give it done. So by which when the bill is now completed. So the bill is now completed. We give a save and close. Now what you do is you go to the child dog, and then there you common the bill to the master. So open up the child dog, child dog bill. And zero zero two is the one. Select it, and then here you go to the structures. Now here, what you want to do is go to actions and then you're not going to create a copy now. So some companies will now ask for a copy. In a copy situation, what happens is we can very well modify the uh, components. Uh, whereas in a commoning, what happens is you cannot modify the child. So this is the best practice now. Find create from common. So once when you create from common, what happens is it will ask you <coughs> from which way you are doing the one. Not to Matlanta. If you go and then put a in Atlanta, it will not come. This must be the master. And we don't have anything in Atlanta. The item is not there. So give a cancel now. So you remove it and then make it as what operations operation the master. Put the operations master and then here if you put it, it will come. So the bill is available in the operations. Now you are going to comment it to the child actually. Click on OK. So by this now a concurrent will run the comment. 
So after some time, if you go and then query it, what happens? You can now see the bill over here. Right? Now, as of now, what happens? The bill will not be available. No, no bill is available. So after some time, what happens? The bill will be available. Say it goes. So now we create the bill. Now we have to go and then create the routing. Create the routing. So the routing has to be created. We have to get the routing. So the routing will now consider of what the, all the three operations I'm going to do it now. So let us now go on and get the Click on the form icon, and then here from there, go to the go to this place, go to the supply chain management, and then here go to the work definition area. So click on the work definition, and then from that, whatever you go to the form the routing. <coughs> so here we go there, click on it, <coughs> and then we go to the manage work definitions. So we are now coming to the plan setups now. Now we are going to go for work definition setups. Click on the manual work definitions. We're going to begin now. Click on plus. Let us now begin the work. Click on plus. And then item is A01. And then you tap. I want to use the drum now. So let's do the drum now. The white paint is not coming. It has also has to come in here. Sheet metal is coming. The remaining two are not coming. No. So some mistake from that. <coughs> drum is coming. So drop down the structure name. Fine. The structure name is it to come because whatever the concurrent may be running now. Okay? So we'll have to wait for the concurrent to complete actually. So <clears throat> you know, right click and then you duplicate and then you know, again go there and then have a look at it. Whether the structure is not created or not. <clears throat> and then here yeah, we go to the product management and then we go to the product information management. You click on it, browse items. E01 underscore drum verify. So I now go to the child arm. Now. So 002 is the child arm. <clears throat> the child arm, if you go and click on the structures, you now see the structure is coming. <clears throat> if you click on the primary, it will now show you all the components. The components are not editable actually. So all the things are shown here. If you go there, go to the actions and then go to edit, it will not be possible because it is a common tool. Common to one can be modified only in the master and not a child. Okay, cancel now. So that'll be there now. So the organization is also there now. You know, it. I will now give it done and then come out of it again. The structure has to come automatically. The primary has to come out. Okay. Keep on managing the definition. So E01 underscore D and then give it app. Sorry, sorry. I have to what? A plus now. Don't worry. I have to create it. So click on plus now. It doesn't create. So I will now put A01 underscore D and then you tab now. The structure is coming. So the concurrent was not completed at the end, so that's why it was not made. Then it's not coming. Drop it down. And then here we are going to give the name now. So it's the main one. There are so many names are there. I will now choose the main one. <coughs> so click on next. Here, click on next. So click on plus now. Fine. So I'm now going to make the first operation, the routing now. Then click on plus. So the code is what drop down. We now have plenty of things over there. Now. So I will now put A01 and then give a tab now. <clears throat> so I will now put what? First is what? Bending and cutting operation. So I am now choosing the bending and cutting operation. And then click on plus and then I add the next operation. Click on plus now. Let me add the next operation. Drop down. <clears throat> and you say A01. Search on it. A01. So it's the welding operation. I am going to do it now. Second operation is the welding operation. Choose the operation. You want to click on OK. <clears throat> And then click on plus now and add the third operation. So it's A01 and do that. So it's a painting and finish. So these are three operations I'm now going to make. Right? So by which the routing is getting completed now. So once having populated the standard operations, what you do is you go down, go down, go further now. <clears throat> and then click on save and edit. Now. Let me give a save and edit. Click on save and edit. So click on the save and edit on this. So click on save and it goes to the next screen where we are going to associate the material to the uh, routing engine. So three operations are there, 10, 20, 30. So here we are going to associate the routings. So the first is the bending cutting. So always what happens, you need the, uh, it's called the sheet metal now. So you click on it, drag it, and then what happens, you go there and then drop it below the option, by which one of it gets added. <clears throat> and also there is no added. So item is this, and then the resource is this for the bending operation. Next is building operation. I will now, what you do is I will now go there. I will now building rods. I go there, click on it, and then I will now drop it over there. So drop it below the operation point. You can now see the blue hash is coming. I go there, I'm getting added. So that is added. And the finally painting, what happens? I will now click on it, I will now drag it, and then I will now drop it. The, what's called a visual editor actually. So drop it. It is all done now. 
and then you can do a lot of operations you can now try to make uh, the changes and other things after whenever you free now you can do so many uh, things are there we can do the revisions and then you can do all these things are right? some uh, some other things by which whatever we can modify it now save and close now. so by which what i mean so my drum uh, routing along with the bill is no made don't click on that all these things are completed now fine so our bill and routing are ready and now what happens we have to go and collect don't click on that so we go there <clears throat> We will now go to subject planning and then go to the plan input somewhere. You're going to perform a collection. The collection will be performed now. So click on it. And then here, if you go and then query my item, it will not be available as well. The A0 will want to click on search now. It will be available as well. So because it's not yet collected. So we'll now go and then collect. Click on it. And then go to the collect planning data and then we'll go and collect. Go to OPS collection and making now. So here, I'm now going to collect the item now. And then as well as your structures also are good okay. so once when you scrub the structures what happens the work definition also automatically comes in and okay. there's a routing actually so bomb and bip all us all uh, bomb and uh, routing everything is not coming from over in the supply plan data i'm not having any supplies at all because i'm not uh, there is no need for us to have any stock on i'm not selecting, uh, selecting anything uh, you can even be inventory can be even driven negative actually yes. so go there and then click on what having done this will not submit this thing so this can kind of take some time to complete now so this will be collecting everything and then bring it to the planning area. And then go there. Click on what uh is there. I queried on this thing. Cancel. <clears throat> Click on that. <clears throat> and then have a look at the uh monitor process now. So it's not running. So if you refresh it, what happens? Refresh it. So that one is running actually. Extract is not running. So let us wait for some time and then we don't know. Uh, let us let the wait the concurrent complete. So the load entity are now running now. So once when the load is going ahead, what happens? Uh, the items would have been collected now. I don't go on and make a check of it. When I go there, in this place, I go to subject planning and then go to the planning inputs and then go on and wait. <coughs> There are four things that the three components on the own parent are there. I can go there and make it going. If you easily want to make a search, make a search. Everything is coming. So the drum, the paint, the sheet, and the building also there. Now we'll now begin our uh, GOP setups. Click on it. And then go to that. It's called it. And then go to home. And then here. And then go there. And then we will now perform the GOP setups. We we'll go to the supply and execution, and then we we'll go to the global order policy. <clears throat> no, order management and then global order policy. So we will now perform the GOP setup for this. <clears throat> Check on it. And then the first activity is manage ADP rules. Manage ADP rules, the first one. We'll now create it. And can search. There will be plenty of rules over there. It doesn't matter. Leave it as such, and then we will now create our own rule. Click on plus. I will now say it's a E01 underscore ATP underscore rule. <clears throat> so I'm not creating ATP only for the purpose of the description. So we are seeing the infinite availability. That is a basically that is a non GOP operation. The lead time is for manufacturing. And then the supply chain availability is mainly for your GOP. And then these three tick marks always put it so that what happens, this will be used with the planning and other advanced modules. And even complex GOPs can be done with this. And then go there. So and then I'm going to make it a user defined time frame. So then go for 100 days now. <clears throat> go there. And then let me enable all the supplies. And supplies are getting enabled. Now. And then all these demands. Because later on, what happens if we don't enable it, then work out was introduced. We had to come back and then again enable it now. Right? So just enable it now itself and then leave it as such as a one time setup and then do it. And then we go to the ATP rules assignments. And then here, you give a plus. So here I will now choose the item on organization. Item on organization. Go there. So click on it. It's organization 002. And then go there. Assign to what happens to go there. I will now choose the item. Click on it. Click on search. <clears throat> I will now choose what? The uh, 01. And then make a search. <clears throat> so I will now choose a drum. Drum I'm putting. So click on plus no fine. So no assignment again. And then click on the item organization. And then I will now add all the Four components of the A0 one. 
So drop it down and then make a search. <coughs> this one sheet material. Okay, I'm going to add it. So sheet material element, which is a requirement. So we did a sheet material. Get on plus one. Item and organization zero zero four. <coughs> and this one. Get on search. So easy to one. Building rods is required. In fact, what happens is that this will not be done like this in the field actually. And I will come to that bit later in the next in the, in the complex GOP when I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to explain how we are going to do it. So, for this example, I'm just doing it's a simple uh, item. So, what happens is easy here, not fine, but it's not, a, it's not easy. And thousands of items are there, it's very difficult to do like this now. Uh, so, metal, uh, sheet metal, welding rods. Uh, and that's one of the things that we So the which uh, all the four components are not identified. So everything is not done. So during my complex GOP, uh, what happens? You'll understand it about how to do this as such. So we're not done. So uh, drum, sheet metal, welding rods, and paint. And he was saving close. My ATP board is not there. <coughs> we will now make a sourcing rule. Not we click on it. We will now make a sourcing rule. So click on that. What happens? Sourcing rules. Manage sourcing rules. <coughs> and then here, another new field. I will now make a local sourcing rule to the manufacturing e one underscore manu underscore sourcing rule one manufacturing sourcing rule. So take a copy of and put a description. And then here I will now make it as a local. And then I'm going to manufacture it in the 002R. <coughs> click on the plus and then go there. Click on plus and then there you're going to add. So here there are three things of that now you're going to have a make at two. The organization 002, and whatever is going to be 100% allocation. So, when I use the sourcing group, we are going to manufacture it at 002R. So, click on save and then create another one. And then we are going to ship it from uh, this place also. In the same org, I'm going to ship it. <coughs> so, E01, I will now say ship to customer. After it is manufactured, whatever we are going to use it for shipping it to customer and take it out of it now. And then I put in the description. Right. It is a global rule now. There is a local rule, there is a global rule. Go there. And then actions, I think add a rule. So here, what I want to do is going to transfer. Transfer from organization what? 002. <coughs> Allocation percentage 100 to the rank is going on. Go there. And then click on what? Save and close. So we are going to ship it from the customer. Save and close. That is complete. So the second activity is complete. Before we go for the third activity, what happens is that we will now go there and then create our assignments at now. Open space and then go to the manage assignments. It has now created an assignment set. Click on plus now. It has now created assignment set. <coughs> assignment set is E01 underscore assign underscore set. So take a copy of it and then put in the description. Now. And then save it. Save, save and close. First, you create assignment set and then make the profile point to the assignment set. In that case, we'll now go to the profile now. Set up a maintenance. <coughs> in reality, we'll be having only one assignment. So, okay, fine. Not, not many like this. Only for the training, we are not doing all these things now. Go there. It's a manage admin profile. So. Admin profile. Manage admin profile is the one. Go to the administrative profile. And then here, I will now query for one <coughs> MSP percentage, default percentage. So is the MSP default assignment set now? You select it and uh, here what go there and then go down. And then here it is now pointing to global order promising. Let me change it. The MSP default assignment set is the assignment set which is now going to point to one assignment set. And then you will be using only that assignment set for your uh, GOP promising basically. So it will be only one in the field. And for only for training purposes, we are now creating all this. We are now creating multiple stuff. Same close and done that. Now what happens, we go there and then we now open up our assignments. <coughs> we go to the order management and then go to the global order promising. So in the global order promising, you go there and then click on it and then go to the manage assignments. And then query your assignments. A01 and then query. And then here I'm going to edit. Click on it. So click on plus now. The first one is you're going to use what item organization. Item organization. And then item is A01, and I give it a drum and I'm going to put it <coughs> drum. 
you know, click on it. The sourcing rule is up, and go there. And then I will now choose the manufacturing sourcing rule. If I need you to want to do that. <coughs> it's a manufacturing rule. No. Sorry, item organization has not been put. That is why what happened? The global rule is coming automatically. So since I have not put the org, what happens is not coming. So the local rule has to come now. And I have not put the organization there. So zero zero to R. So once I put it, what happens? The sourcing rule is not showing you <coughs> what. Both the local and global now. Fine. I will not say manual manual language. So it is the item organization level. Organization there, item is there, and then you know making a manufacturing job. Now click on plus icon. Afterwards, what happens is now use the item. Item is basically for global actually. I'm going to click on it, it up and go. At the item level, I'm going to promise it now. So item is a A01, and then you tab now <coughs> the drum. So click on it. What is space? And then go there. Sorting rules. And then here, if you put it, only the global will come. Fine, nothing else will come. Global will come. It is not done and then you will save and close. So first you are manufacturing and then keeping it at 002. And then afterwards, what happens? You are going to ship it from this place to the global is also 002. So I think I have given it as 00. I have a small doubt on this one. Uh, 00 to uh, make a check of it. And then you sourcing hierarchy, <coughs> if you click on it, what happens? It is not showing anything. Otherwise, what happens? You can even give the criteria and then make a search. Not showing anything. You will save and close. Let me query my um, yes now. <coughs> Click on it and then here, go to the manage sourcing rules and then query my sourcing rule now. A01, you know, I'm getting it. So, we have to ship to customers and then see whether 002 org is there or not. There's a global basically. The org is not there. So, here we have to transfer from 002 to what about the customer? Global. <coughs> so, global. Okay. so, everything is not done. So, we have to collect this data. Find the three activities of a GOP that is manage ATP rules and then sourcing rules and assignment sets. Everything is completed along with the profiling. Now we go there and then collect it. So go to the supply chain management and go to the plan inputs and then we're going to collect it. So you go there, click on this, and then go to collect planning data. <coughs> so OPS now. Make it OPS now. And then this place now go for order orchestration reference objects. That is for GOP now. So we only modified that now. We're going to collect it. <coughs> click on submit now. This is now getting collected. Again, the concurrence will be running. So we will now wait for this concurrent to complete now. The second set of concurrence is going to run now. <clears throat> so correction box is now started. We will wait for some time now. So now this is all completed. It goes the scheduled process. And then now run the refresh and start. Refresh. This, in this instance, I have not had done uh, the refresh for a longer time, and so what happens? I will not refresh almost everything. Now. So the one then I lose it. So I'm refreshing everything. I really not that much is not required in the real sense. So we are only refresh only whatever the object which is not refreshed. So this uh, uh, refreshing start is basically an yeah, inline memory engine in which the data from the supply chain planning will be brought to this area. And then order management will be promised based upon this uh, GOP server only. So we'll wait for some time. So it's almost completed. And then uh, what you can do is you know, go there. And then we'll now give the price for this product. Because uh, the pricing has to be given now. So what I do is I will now make an all items price for this one. So we'll go there. And then give an all items price is $1. So in the price list, I go there, click on it. And then click on manage price list. And then create the corporate price list. Now. <clears throat> so in this place, I will now use the corporate segment price list and then use the corporate price list. I will now go to the all items and then here I will now give a plus. So now the pricing is in each click on trade charge. I will now give all items price of one dollar. 
allow man of adjustment also give us call date so give us call date give us even close by which the priceness is more great now having done everything what about we had to uh, log out and log in for the best practice sign out and sign out <coughs> So here, everything might have got completed. This single project. So click on sign in now. Now we're going to make a sales order first. For the drum, we're going to make a sales order. So go to the order management. For that, we go to the order management. So click on create order. I will now populate the company services and enter. Couple of services. Oh, sorry. I should not do this. I had to put the put the base this thing, and then the only the built account will be coming. Otherwise, it will not be coming. First, the business unit has to be populated now. Close on business unit. And the built-up one has to come. Drop down. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me click on it. And then I will now pop in the drum over here. A zero one underscore D, and then give it a tab. Drop down. Drop down. So it's coming. It's out of stock. So if GOB is not properly set, it will now say either it's in stock or out of stock now. And I will now go to white one. Yes. And then click on add. So we will add it now. It's already added. So go there and then give it. And then we go there and then now shift it by uh, five days now. So we need it not on fifteenth, but on twentieth of today. Twentieth we add it. No add it. So click on submit. By which one? The sales order will be submitted. It will now start to progress in the do the distributed order orchestration. Now click on the phone. Nine seven three eight two is order number. So we go there. We click on refresh. It will now go there. Not approval. So approval. Approval is not there. Click on refresh. So go to actions and then go to switch to fulfillment. We have a double house programming. I click on the fulfillment lines and then go further and then click on this button orchestration. So now schedule reserve. So since it is a make, what happens is the reserve and ship will be bypassed by a supply request. <coughs> the reserve and ship will be replaced by a supply request. So click on refresh. <coughs> you can also that this activity will be replaced. Scheduling is complete. So the supply request is not coming. <coughs> so they're not getting then after the past task is going to run now. Click on refresh now. So the past task is basically waiting actually. Yeah. <coughs> it's waiting. It should not wait like this actually. Uh, uh, because what happens? There is a geo party actually. There is a geo party because of which is waiting. It has to get complete like that. So what I will do is I will now have a look at go to the footprint lines and then have a look at it. Click on the footprint lines. And then here till now what is close. I don't know how this has come now. I click on the supply dates. So here the scheduled ship date have been shifted to what 28 is a requested date, but what happens is third of January it has been shifted. So we had to modify the scheduled ship date and arrival date because of which what happens the past task is waiting actually then. So let us go there and then we'll now edit the line. <coughs> go to actions and then go to edit line. Actions edit line, we are going to edit it now. So we will not change the schedule to ship date now. So for which what happens, first of all, the warehouse has to be ensured now. If I go to the warehouse name, again, we will not put 002 as a warehouse name. You know, and then the shipping method must be erased, and then afterwards, we will go on and override. This is the way to override, actually. So the schedule to ship date will now say 16th of the day, on which what happens, we will ship it now. And then the arrival date is 20th on the customer situation. So they're not going to process this. So if you want to make a change of this, what happens? You have to put the barrows and then clear the shipping method. Then they so this is the method by which you have to make a change for changing the schedule to ship date and arrival dates. Uh, <coughs> now processing it. So click on OK. <coughs> now we go there and then go to the orchestration plan. It will be run rerun actually. It will be again. Uh, it will be running again as such. Okay. So go to click on the refresh. So now we want to run again because of the change. So the change pending is not coming. Now this time it will not be getting passed. The reserve and ship will be changed to what? The supply request actually. Yes. So one thing is not started now. So it has started. Wait for the activities to complete. Now it's not saying schedule now. Schedule is not complete now. So now the thing has to change to supply request actually. Request supply. So it's not changed. It will start. Go the click on the <clears throat> now the past task will not be waiting as such. So 
So it is not completed. <clears throat> no. Supply request is not complete. What happens? The pass is completed. It is not complete. Control question mark. So now what happens? It has to progress to awaiting shipping it. Then the system will be uh, interfacing it to manufacturing it. So you can now see here the fulfillment area. And the fulfillment. And then here we go to the supply request. Supply request. And here the back to back operation is already started. You will now get a supply order number over here. So click on the question. So it has to progress to awaiting shipping. Now it has gone to awaiting shipping. Now. Refresh. 